Okay, I'd like to tie a imitation of Dick Ryan's um, stonefly pattern. This is the golden stonefly, the CR gold. Uh, for those of you who live in the state of Missouri, you probably know that CR stands for Current River. Dick originally designed this fly to fish in the Current River. And as the story goes, he uh, took it down. Um, after tying, he took it to the current. And just so happens that there was a cicada hatch coming off and did real well with this fly at that time. He tied up a few, gave them to the late Ed Story of Feathercraft. Ed took them down to the Merrimack and did very well on the Merrimack. So anytime um, you have a stream where the golden stones are hatching, this is a very good fly to have in your arsenal. Okay, in the vise I have a TMC 5263, and on that I have uh, lead wire 25 thousandths. This is a size 10 hook. I like to tie this in 10s and 12s. Um, if you'll notice that the wire runs from about the point up to and leave myself plenty of room behind the eye. For thread, I'm going to be using a rusty brown. Eat out would be fine. Start my thread in front of the eye, or excuse me, in front of the lead. And come down and build up a little dam so the lead doesn't slip to the rear. Come back to the front then of the fly. To make sure my uh, lead doesn't move, I'm going to put a little UV glue on both sides. This is a solar. It's a very good, um, very good UV glue. Okay, we'll cure it. Okay, for the antennae and, and the and the tails. I'm going to be using some round rubber legs. These are extra small. I like to use small legs. Um, it just seems like there's more movement in the water if you use something a little smaller. Okay, I'm going to take a pinch wrap, leave plenty of leg over the front. I can always cut them off with plenty of antennae. Always cut them off. And then I'm going to stretch my material or my rubber legs down the shank. Down to a point on the shank that's right above the barb. Here again I'm going to cut them off fairly long. I can always make them shorter. Okay, for the body of the fly I'm going to be using a golden yarn. This is um, some that's prepared um, at Feather, excuse me, Hargroves. I'm not sure whether you can buy this, but any kind of golden yarn would work fine. From that yarn, I'm going to, there are four strands in each piece of yarn. From that, I'm going to take just one individual strand, and I'm going to tie it in right behind the eye. Here again, we'll go down two point on the shank right above the barb. Okay, there's a little bit of a drop off here, so we'll build up a little slope to keep our material from sliding as we bring it forward. Okay, I'm going to bring my, my thread all the way back to behind the eye once more. And for the thorax, I'm going to be using some peacock hair. I'm going to take six or eight strands of peacock hair clip off the straggly ends, and I'm going to tie that in right on top of the hook shank. And I'm going to come down about three quarters of the way down, not quite to the hook point. Okay, at this point, I'm going to tie in some hackle, looks like legs. I've got some brown hackle. I'm going to peel off the barbules on both sides of the stem. I have quite a bit pulled off. I want, I want quite a bit showing here. When I tie this in, I want this, the shiny side on the far side. And I want to leave just enough stem so when I make my first wrap, 
I'm going to have stem rather than boy bills hit the shank. Okay, I'll bring my thread forward. I'm going to put in a half hitch. I'm going to use my rotary, so in order to keep all this material out of my way, I'm going to bring it forward and just make one loop over the shank to hold it in place. So then I can start my yarn and bring it forward. Okay, when I get right up to thorax, I'm going to stop and undo my material. Okay, then I can start winding my yarn in front again, making sure that I cover the entire body. Okay, looks like I got a little drop off there, so I'm going to build up just a little ramp so my material don't, doesn't slide forward. Okay, then I can go ahead and finish my ramp and tie it off. Okay, I'll clip off the yarn and then again I'm going to put in a half hitch. Okay, we're ready to bring our, our hackle forward, and this time we want to make sure that the shiny, shiny side is forward. Okay, then we'll tie off our hackle. Trim off the excess. Be careful not to trim off your legs. Okay, we've got a head farmed. Then I'm going to kind of try to split these hackles. Bring them to one side. And then we'll bring our peacock harrow right down the middle. Tie it off. And we'll whip finish. It looks like we got a piece in there. On our head a little bit more. Okay, what we're tying is, I believe, to be a variation of, of Dick's pattern. I think Dick tied his pattern more and like a woolly booger, having a hackle run the entire length of the body without this bare spot in the back. Um, I don't know if it makes a lot of difference, um, but it, this pattern is a good pattern. I believe tied either way. Trim up some of the stragglers here. Okay, I want my tail about gaps length, so I'm going to trim it off just a little bit. And the antennae, probably a little longer than the shank. The antennae that can be long um, is not really a problem. Okay, we'll put a little head seam in. And there we have a variation of Dick Ryan's CR Gold.